And uh, you told me that it's just theirs for the asking? It's just there for the asking. All we ask is people be honest about what you need. And Sammy, you and your wife Susan are, are just incredible angels to be doing this because you both have jobs. Tell everybody what you all do. We do. Susan works full time with the school district. Uh, I work full time with the USDA, Natural Resources Conservation Service. Um, we have, uh, and both of us have been blessed with jobs and with supervisors who understand what we do and have been so gracious to work with us to accomplish that. Well, I hope you've inspired other people not only to get involved in this organization, possibly having churches partner with His Hands of Horry County, but also to get involved in the community. You'll get a lot more out of life when you give back. Right, Sammy? I agree. Nobody knows better than Sammy and Susan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yummy and creative dessert ideas. That's what's next on Inside Out. Right here in our own backyard, there are kids who are hungry. That's what Help for Kids and Backpack Buddies is all about. When the kids see this truck, they come running with joy, knowing that it delivers not only food, but hope and love. This all-volunteer organization needs your help, along with churches and civic clubs, to collect Vienna sausages. Then drop them off at Help for Kids' new home, or call them for pickup. The kids are counting on us. This time of year, we usually find kids making Christmas cards for their parents and their siblings. But we found one group of local kids who were making Christmas cards for soldiers overseas. It's an art class from Palmetto Bay's Elementary School. So during that commercial break, I gained seven pounds just breathing in all of these delicious items. I want you to meet Amanda Page. She might look young, but let me tell you, she's got great experience working for four restaurants on this beach. What are those restaurants, Amanda? Um, we have Good Time Charlie's, uh, Roosters, uh, the American Tap House, and then also uh, Wicked Tuna as well. You are a wonderful pastry chef because I've eaten at those restaurants and sampled your goods. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna give us some great ideas for the holidays, like this. What on earth is it? Um, we have a chocolate ball, German chocolate ball here. Um, it's chocolate cake uh, filled with German chocolate filling and then we have um, a white and chocolate ball um, that's filled with butter pecan ice cream and then we have some toasted coconut and chocolate shavings on the side and um, we serve it at the restaurants with a hot coconut creme anglaise sauce and we pour it over the top and it melts down the chocolate, gives you a nice moist cake. Is that what that is? Yes. Oh, do it for us. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is just so beautiful, just like that. Oh, there's a hole, here mm -hmm. we go. And the ice cream's inside. Oh, look at it as it melts. I hope you got a close-up of that. Look at that dessert. Let me turn it so 
Every camera can see it. And even what's in the bottom of the bowl is artistic. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I remember being here one night and having the most delicious mm -hmm. dessert that you made mm -hmm. by putting a balloon mm -hmm. into chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then pulling it out and that chocolate became the bowl. Yep. Oh, Amanda, you really are good. Mm -hmm. And this looks great. And butter pecan ice cream. And why did you do butter pecan rather than any other flavor? Is it kind of go with it? Um, yeah, I felt like it kind of went with like the German chocolate because, you know, you got the coconut mm. in there and uh, it just adds a little bit extra flavor to the dessert and gives you that hot and cold concept on the plate together. And just uh, this chocolate shell is awesome. And mm -hmm. then the cream anglaise. Mmm, so this is something folks could do at home, but then again, this is pretty challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it takes a little time. This is very similar. It, do you do the same sort of thing to this one? Uh, yes, absolutely. This is actually like more of a fall version of, of the dessert. Um, it's just a white chocolate ball, and then we fill it with a uh, caramel gelato, um, as well as kind of like an apple pie filling. And then we serve it with a shortbread crumble to give it that crunch. Um, and then we also mm. serve it with a hot caramel sauce over the top of, of that one. It, it tastes just like a um, apple crumble pie. It's very delicious. Mm, or a candied apple or yes. something, some <laughs> caramel apple. There mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your background, Amanda. How did you get into being a pastry chef? Um, well, when I was younger, um, I had no interest in um, being in the kitchen at all. My mom usually tells me like all the time, you know, that I didn't want to have anything to do with any kind of baking or cooking. I would run in there, throw some sprinkles on some cookies and then run back out of the kitchen. But when I, when I got older, I um, was in high school and I took some culinary classes in high school and the chefs there kind of just inspired me to um, go further in my career with it. Uh, we did a lot of pastry stuff there and I just was very interested in it. So. I decided to further my career and go to college for it. And where'd you go? Um, I went to Johnston Wales in Charlotte. Um, I w was there for four years. I got my two-year associate's degree in baking and pastry, and then I got um, my bachelor's degree in food service management. Wow, so you're ready yeah. for anything. Yes. If she needs to go further, you certainly can yes. with a degree <laughs> like that. Tell me about this fall dessert that you're now serving at the restaurants. Um, this is our pumpkin cheesecake brulee. Uh, I swirled together vanilla bean and pumpkin cheesecake on top of a traditional graham cracker crust. Um, and then we brulee it to order, so there's a nice layer of crunch on the top. And then we make our homemade spiced macaroons with a cookie butter filling. Uh, it's very delicious, one of our more popular fall desserts. We served it last year and I had some people that wanted me to bring it back. So kind of revamped it, you know, took the plating up a notch to make it look a little nicer. So. Mm, it's beautiful and I love what you did with the little dots. That's Thank just you. so fallish. Mm -hmm. This is certainly something people can do at home, taking a glass and doing what with it? Um, well. Uh, for those people that don't have a lot of time, you know, you can always b buy um, some store-bought fillings like, you know, lemon curd or, um, you know, they have chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, and you can just take them and layer them a little bit in the, in the jars. Um, you know, get some marshmallows, toast them on top. This is our s'mores. So we have graham cracker crumbs, um, chocolate sauce, and then a... Uh, um, chocolate mousse and then a homemade marshmallow fluff which you can also buy in the store as well um, and then this one here this is one of our fall ones it's caramel sauce candied walnuts and then we have a white chocolate vanilla custard um, as well as uh, the apple pie filling um, and then here we have our peanut butter and jelly um, I took something you know kind of traditional peanut butter and jelly everyone loves peanut butter and jelly so um, I layered it in a glass we have the shortbread crumble um, on the bottom and then we have a homemade strawberry jelly and then peanut butter mousse so that's you know something else simple that people could get from the store you can get jelly you can get you know some shortbread um, biscuits and then you know you could take some peanut butter fold it in with some 
a store-bought whipped cream and there you go. So this is a great idea for those of you who work and uh, don't have time to bake or those of you who hate to bake, like Amanda said she hated mm -hmm. it when she was little. What are some of the things your family did for Christmas Day? Um, well, when I was younger, I always remember there being pumpkin pie and apple pie on the table, as well as um, my mom always made cookies, tons of cookies around Christmas. and. Um, Thanksgiving and it was just great like I loved eating all like at all holiday dinners at my house so it's always good food always good desserts and this is a dessert that you keep at your restaurants all year long because people beg for it yes. what makes it better than everyone else's because I love your cream brulee Amanda um I mean we it's a, just a traditional vanilla bean creme brulee we try to vamp it up a little bit put you know a lot of whipped cream on there um, some fresh seasonal berries uh, just to give it that little extra you know Oomph. Yes. Well, exactly. whatever it is, her cream brulee is outstanding. Let's pull that in because this is my, oh, I'm, I'm just so excited about it. This <laughs> is my most excited part of the whole interview because I said to Amanda, I'm going to give you a challenge, Amanda. There's lots of people that get so busy during the holidays, they don't have time to bake. So show us how to do something with bought pies, grocery store pies, and wait till you see what she came up with. All right, so um, I actually went to the store this morning and bought some store-bought pies. Um, and what I'm going to show you guys is um, how to kind of... Spiff it up. Yes, exactly. You did. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is all something that's very easy. Like, you can buy everything in the store, the pie. And then we're going to use just a little cookie cutter, just a little round cookie cutter. Um, and what we're going to do is just kind of... Uh, you're going to want to use some really hot water in there, and then you're just going to stick it in there. So the hot water helps you mm -hmm. cut through? Yep, it helps you cut through and gives you a nice round edge on it. This one's coming out. Now, you, that came up, but I bet if yeah. I tried to do it, it wouldn't <laughs> come up so easily. And then you just pop it out of there, pop it out of there a little bit, and you can set them aside. And then what we also can do is you can also get some, you know, like store-bought um, caramel and chocolate sauce to drizzle on the plate. We have some, I have some here in some little piping bags, but it'd be just as easy to, you know, get the squeeze bottles and just kind of put a little design on the... Yeah, why don't we, why don't we pull that plate yeah. up and you can show everyone how you do that. Okay. You can make your own little squeeze bag too out of plastic bags. Yes, absolutely. So you decorate the plate. Mm -hmm. Yep, just decorate it a little, go back and forth to make it look nice. Give it a little extra uh, design on the plate. Yep, exactly. And then we'll take some caramel sauce and go across there also. This is a great idea. Instead of just putting a store-bought pie on the table, Mm -hmm. You make these little tarts, and they're bite-sized. You could do yes, this with an apple pie. Yes, like the perfect portion. I feel like if you're having like a dinner party or whatnot, you don't really have time to make one. You know, it's just as easy to go to the store and make it look just as nice. And that's the finished product. Basically, you would top it with whipped cream. Mm -hmm or anything you want, right? Yeah, um, you can also, you know, I put some uh, candied walnuts uh, on the is top of this is? one. Yep, it just sprinkled it over. You could always put some, uh, you could always take some, a little bit of cinnamon and sift that over the top, give a little nice dusting on there. A um, little extra flavor to it too. This is great for a dinner party or for anyone who really is just too busy to do baking. No one will know you mm. didn't bake these. Amanda, thank you so much for being thank with you, us. Diane. And best wishes with your career. Oh, Folks can you see so you at much. what restaurants again? Uh, Good Time Charlie's, Roosters, the American Tap House, and the Wicked Tuna. Friends, this is Amanda Page. She's going to do big things in Myrtle Beach in the days to come. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you so Amanda. Much, Diane. Happy holidays you to you. Too. Coming up next, you'll meet an organization that not only delivers meals, but smiles. Bye, guys. Thanks to HTC, I can connect from here to family and friends on the West Coast and beyond, with more fiber to more homes delivering high speeds and lower prices. Reliable connections from a local company for more than 60 years, that's HTC.
Full house for the holidays? Keep everyone connected with HTC High Speed Internet. Upgrade your speeds or switch today by calling 843-369-8966. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Stronger, healthier babies. Learn more about healthy babies at marchofdimesbaby.org. When you're sitting down at your holiday meal, just know that there are thousands of volunteers throughout our community who feed those who are hungry. I want you to meet Alan Cooper. He happens to be the president of Mobile Meals of Myrtle Beach. And there's lots of chapters of Mobile Meals throughout the Grand Strand. Right, Alan? Yes, ma'am. There sure is. How long have you been handling the Myrtle Beach area? Since 1994. Wow, and you were kind enough to tell me you were 86? Five. 85 years old, and he's the president of Mobile Meals. You could be doing anything else, but you love to volunteer, don't you? Yes, ma'am. It's amazing how long you've handled this organization, and those who know you say you're an angel. Mm. How about that? Isn't that a nice thought? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> tell me about the organization. Describe Mobile Meals for us. Mobile Meals is an organization in which we supply food to people that are ill, people that are elderly, or people that are handicapped, they're not able to film. And what we have is uh, people from uh, different areas, like friends and families and uh, pastors and churches and, uh, and uh, hospital care nurses will call us and ask us to interview this person so they can have mobile meals. And so that's, what, that's how we get the clients. We are capable of serving 50 people 